Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man on the Game Boy Color. Now that we're done this devilish, devilish sewer area, we can get the hell out. Our next destination is the docks, where we're supposed to find the Hobgoblin and apparently find out why the hell he blew up Dr. Connor's lab. But before that, there's a little secret area you can access now that you've beaten the lizard. In fact, you wouldn't really think to go here. It's more of an Easter egg than anything else. But it's something pretty amazing, I've got to say. Now, you'll notice outside the city has gone to uh, night. Apparently you spent a long-ass time down in that sewer exploring your way around, so now it's dark. And apparently being dark makes the thugs stronger, so now they're palette swapped and uh, a little bit harder to kill, and they hit a little harder. But it's nothing that my extra levels can't handle, no. Now, our little secret areas here atop the Daily Bugle. Back where you started the game. Just deal with Mr. Knife Thrower Man here. And head all the way to the left. And you want to drop down that little pit there. And the hell is this thing? It looks pretty familiar. It's like I've seen it somewhere before. So this is a secret area and... Wait a minute. Bricks? Bush? Could this be... <gasps> Sweet Jesus, Super Spider-Man Bros. This has to be the best Easter egg I've ever seen in a video game. Super Spider-Man Bros. I can't believe a situation's come out where I get to say that and, not in, and actually have it be meaning something besides just random babble. I'm playing Super Spider-Man Bros. It sounds like a bad rom hack, but this is actually in a commercial release game! There's no flagpole, there's just a tire pipe. That takes you to... Oh my god, it's one too! And there's a giant spider made of Mario bricks! Oh, oh my god! I guess the hearts are supposed to be like coins or something. And the extra Spider-Man lives, like one-ups. Oh, it's a platformer. Extra things are extra things, you know, but this blew my mind when I found out about it. I looked it up on the internet, and it's just like, oh my god! Super Spider-Man Bros! This is the best! And just like that, the level's over. And you start back at the sewer. I will be back momentarily. I gained level 3! Extra attack point and an extra defense point. We're gonna go to the docks now, but there's this little item you can have by swinging off the Connor's lab towards the docks. Another defense up. You're going to need it. You'll see why. So here we are! Now, Hobgoblin, where the hell are you? What? Well, this doesn't look good. Yipe! Oh god, random mobsters! So yeah, the dock is swarming with random mobsters, and I think I saw a guy in a white suit there. Could it have been the Kingpin? I'm, I'm not completely sure. If it was the Kingpin, I would have said it was the Kingpin. You don't fight the Kingpin or anything. I mean, if the Kingpin was in the game, you would fight him. But these mobster guys, or crooks, or mafia men, or whatever you want to call them, oh my god! They hurt a lot, even when you're all jacked up on levels and defense ups and stuff. They, they, they just wreck you completely. And it doesn't help that this place is infested with seagulls, too, remember. This is really the first truly, truly, truly hard part. Well, exploring the sewer isn't so bad, because, like, the things in there can't really kill you that much, but... God, these birds! I know, every, I know it's the hip thing to do to complain about birds in 8-bit video games. Oh, Castlevania birds, Ninja Gaiden birds, uh, burr, burr, burr. but I'm, I have to be serious for a moment. The birds in Spider-Man are worse. I think the birds in Spider-Man are worse than birds in Castlevania or Ninja Gaiden. You want to know why? Well, for one, things like that happen where you fall into the water and die, but you fall into pits and die in Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden a lot too thanks to birds. No, the problem is their behavior, their attack pattern. Birds in Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden sort of just swoop down on an angle, and that's hard because your attacks are only straight unless you have, like, a special weapon. But the birds in Spider-Man just fly at you voraciously and home in around you, pecking at you. 
repeatedly damaging you, and you can't really attack back because your only attack is the fist or the web shot, and it doesn't really do much good. You see, and they fly under you, and they attack you from under, and it's very difficult, if not impossible, to avoid. So that's my reason why the birds in this game are completely birds from hell. Even more so than Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden. Anyway, back to talking about Spider-Man here. We're just going through the docks, trying to not get killed. You just want to go through this level. You really don't want to stop to kill every guy you see, because they'll fucking kill you first. I mean, really, if it's not the birds, it's the mobsters just hitting you for massive amounts of damage with their guns and their fists and their attack dogs. It's, it's an ordeal! It's a miracle I'm not dead yet. Now, there is one very, 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 very important item to get here. And it's where that life up was when we came here by day. So if you miss that life up, guess what? You're fucked. Yeah, the game likes to make the items uh, missable and unobtainable if you don't go at them in a certain order. Joy. So once again, we swing from this lamppost up to the top of the edge of the screen, and we grab the super web. Now what the super web is? Oh, hey, Venom. How, how, how about how are you doing? Oh, whoa. Oh my god, Venom just kicked my ass! Yeah, that's Venom 2. He's actually strong this time. But he can be beaten because A, we're a strong level, and B, we have the super web. The super web is an upgrade to your web shot that actually does a little bit of damage to an enemy whenever it binds it with a web shot. And, holy shit, I just beat the fuck out of Venom. I, goddamn. And he goes in, shit, and runs off once again. This is very strange. Now then, to find the Hobgoblin inside this old abandoned warehouse. Eh? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Pause, please! Yeah. Next time on Let's Play Spider-Man, we defuse the pumpkin bombs that are in this warehouse. Joy. Until then, everybody. Spider-Man.